now you've done the initial shading analysis, or shading plotting, right? Uh, we're going to use the example of the wing wall that we started with. So imagine that we had a photovoltaic array that for some reason the client wanted mounted vertically on their south facing wall. And there was a uh, wing wall off to the west. And this is off to the west here that they're seeing. Uh, and we're trying to identify how many hours would that shade, when would that shading occur, and can then can we interpret that, those hours of shading, and input that into something of our energy system modeler, SAM. So look at this. We see that we've got a plot here of different times when shading is going to occur during the June months, the summer months, and during the winter months. And we know that a lot of shading is going to occur in the afternoon. So now we go over, and I've actually uh, collected these dates and times for each of these months together for January through December. And so I'm roughly saying that, you know, in January, we're getting hours of shading from about 4 o'clock. Remember this 4 o'clock line travels all the way down here. So from 4 o'clock on, we're going to get no sunlight, so we give it a value of 0. Uh, in the month of March, for example, if I look on the March line, this is the late March, but so if I go up to here to the middle of March, or the beginning of March, excuse me, I'm going to find that, um, excuse me, this would be the end of March, I'm going to find that from about uh, 2.30, again, if I look up at the top of the line, I can see this is about 2.30 on through the rest of the day, I'm going to have uh, shading. And so maybe in this one hour, I might assign it a half value. And say the half hour is going to be shaded. And then the rest of the hours are going to be zero, right? OK, and I do this all the way through. So I've kind of made notation of where the hours, the shading starts for that first hour and whether or not it's a half hour uh, for the course of modeling. Now if I bring up SAM system advisor model, you're seeing the launching of that. And we've got, I'm going to resize this so that it will fit. This is going to be your first exposure to SAM. So SAM has a, an interesting launch page. It's got a lot of information, news in terms of what's happening in SAM. New webinars coming up, I guess, in May. And one thing I do not want you to do is to start the Solar Wizard. That is not for you. Uh, we are going to do it uh, directly by choosing projects and the types of technologies that we're interested in and the financing projects that we're interested in. So let's just call this one Shading 1. It's just going to name the file. And we're going to create that new file. It's going to give us a choice. We're going to see in one column, select a technology. Photovoltaics, concentrating solar power, solar water heating are going to be the solar ones that we would be interested in. We're going to choose photovoltaics. There's a sub-menu. PV watts is what you do not want. PV watts is, is relatively simplistic uh, modeling. We want component-based modeling that we get with either flat plate PV or concentrating PV. So once I've chosen flat plate PV modeling, I'm going to go over and I'm going to select a residential financing option. Okay, And we're doing this just as our first example. Uh, in the future, we can look at residential, commercial, power purchase agreement, and utility options. So let's just click OK. And it automatically creates a default case of photovoltaics. And you'll notice that all along here, I've got a list, a list of tabs, right? Up at the top here, it's listed shading. Uh, my technology and market flat plate PV for residential is listed up here. The location of the resource is here. So I can go in here and I can type in, uh, let's see, state colleges are going to be listed. So I'm going to list Pittsburgh. Yes, yeah, sure. So I click Pittsburgh and it inputs all the solar data for Pittsburgh. But we're interested in, in the shading part of this. So we're just going to select out the tab on performance adjustment, in which case I'm going to move this guy over and expand it. And you're going to see that we have a table here. This is a very convenient table that we can use 
alongside of our little note, noted values of shading in January, February, March, and so on. So I can go in here, and this is basically saying that when are you thinking that shading is going to stop your system from performing? And shading is, is, is a clear example of, of stopping your system from performing in photovoltaics. So I'm going to look at January, and I'm going to say January from 4 to 5 on is going to be 0. So I can actually go right here, select these cells, apply 0 to those cells, and they are read it out, right? I can go for, to February 3 to 4. Same type of process. I could either type zero and then progress along, or I could just apply zero to all of these selected cells. So similarly, I'm just going to progress along here. And finally, I'm at March. March from uh, the two to three hour, I had given it a value of 0.5, so basically just a half hour. And notice how it's about half the value of color otherwise. I'm just going to make everything red, and so I'm just going to progress through this um, three to four zeros. May is 330 to four. So here we've got another deviation 0.5 that I'm going to apply, and these guys are going to get zeros. Oops. Those cells from the there we go. Keep on going through here, and you see that I'm just methodically notating all of these guys down, and ultimately I'm going to be converting a lot of these cells to zeros, in which case I can have all of this information. Let's say, let's say that maybe some of these guys aren't as bad. Or, actually, those are 4 o'clock. Um, but all of these guys are going to be times when if the sun is in the sky, and Sam knows when the sun is in the sky, if the sun is in the sky, then uh, there's not going to be output to your photovoltaic panels based on this input. Very useful. Uh, ultimately, what we would do, if I'm going to resize this, oops. Ultimately, what we would do is click the green button down here. It's going to compile your simulation, and it gives you a monthly output of power, cash flow, and things like this. But what it's done is it's incorporated all of your performance adjustments into that system. So that um, in the case of our answers here, where the annual energy was 4.169 uh, kilowatt hours, I believe, uh, for this case, if I were to take that performance adjustment out, let's just take all of these guys that I've selected. Instead of that, apply them as ones, right? Let's click that guy again. And instead of 4.61, I have 4.66, or 4,666 kilowatt hours. So I've increased things dramatically. And you notice how that edge in the winter months uh, is a lot higher now. And that's because that shading was occurring. So this is a way for your tool for your to be used in SAM to, to uh, so all this work that you put together to do shading analysis, to understand angles that ultimately lead to shading analysis is directly relevant to simulations inside of a tool like SAM where if I do if I add shadows into a scenario, I'm going to decrease my annual energy output, and I can calculate that. So I'm using this entire lesson to get to the point where I can use this inside of SAM. This connects us directly to our ultimate uh, project goals at the end of the uh, semester. All right? Great.